How is soil formed? We all know plants flourish in healthy soil. Soil is a living, renewable, natural resource that forms the foundation of life on the planet. It provides food, building material, and is home to several animals and insects. Since the soil supports different types of living organisms, it is often regarded as a living system. As the living organisms constantly turn, mix, and aerate the soil, they aid in the soil formation process. Thus, the soil we see does not form in a day. It undergoes a very slow, long journey and is constantly changing. Soil is formed by a process of weathering or breaking down of rocks. Why do rocks break down? Wind, water, extreme hot and cold temperatures and action of living organisms leads to crumbling of rocks over time. As the rocks are exposed to various forces of nature over millions of years, they break down to form sand and fine soil. But wait, the soil is not made up only of broken rock particles. Soil is also made up of humus, which is decomposed plants and animals. The decomposed organic material adds nutrients to the soil and makes it fertile. Based on color, compactness and particle size, the soil can be classified into different layers. This vertical cross-section of the earth's surface is called a soil profile. The dark colored humus is part of topsoil. Humus makes the topsoil soft and porous enough to hold air and water. This layer supports the roots of plants as well as is home to several organisms. The layer below topsoil is subsoil, which is harder and more compact due to the presence of small rock fragments. Next is the layer of loosely arranged rock material known as the parent material. The soil development process begins in this layer. The parent material determines the color, texture and chemical composition of the soil in an area. The last layer beneath soil and gravel is the layer of unweathered rock known as bedrock. The bedrock can extend hundreds of meters underneath the surface. Thus, the soil is formed by the weathering of parent material by the action of forces of nature like wind, water and ice. 